Hey Internet, my name is Abby and welcome back to the Bus Ord and Space Program Manager. Over the last few episodes we were playing the NASA session, but right now we have the next version of the game available and I upgraded the game to the version 0.7.19 and with upgrade the old save games aren't working anymore. In this case we have to start over again, but this is not a problem because let me just read one uh, great line of the changelog. Edit animations with background music for the following programs. PKA Spaceplane, Vostok and Vospot. Sound effects will be added in a future update. This means we now have uh, animations for the Soviet side missions and I like to check them out. In this case we have to change styles anyways and so it's not so much of a problem that the old save games aren't, aren't working anymore so we can start off right away. And here yeah, one thing I like to emphasize, we now have also a multiplayer button down here but well, currently the multiplayer functionality isn't available uh, yet, but it's the first appearance of the multiplayer mode in the main menu and this means, yeah, it will be coming uh, in the near future and this is cool. And another feature, the single player button uh, is now needed to uh, load also the game. So you don't have the load function anymore in the main menu, you need at first to click on single player to access the load game functionality. Okay, um, now I want to start a new game. I want to play on the Soviet side and we can only do this on the sandbox mode. So let me proceed on and as usual I want to play Buzz Hard. So let me do this. Okay, and the next thing is we now have Nikita Ivanov, Dani Daniel Vasiliev, uh, Dimitri Gulyubev, uh, Nikita Vinogradov and Daniel Kozlov. So uh, the names are now the right names for the side you are playing on. So if you're playing on the US side you have only American names. If you're playing on the Soviet side, as you've seen, your employees will have uh, Russian names. And if you're playing on um, the GSA side, you will have names from all over the world. So this is pretty cool. And now, um, before I start upgrading my Baikonur Cosmodrome, as I said, we now have the animation for the PKA space plane and also for the was was talk and for the let me see the two group ballistic capsule for the was cod so this is really cool i'm really looking forward to this to to launch these these things into space and i like to start off with the uh, space plane but one thing uh, i don't know can i access this without being required to open up the thing um no 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 i don't want to open up this um okay i can't Okay, here, here's this in the description. This program consists um, of a space plane design launched atop a rocket and able to achieve Earth orbit. It features deployable aerodynamic uh, surfaces that are moved in a horizontal position after the atmospheric re-entry and allow an unpowered landing on a speci specially uh, prepared high load bearing runway on bicycle skid gear. Okay. So this is pretty cool, but the main problem here is that the thing is launched atop of a rocket. So uh, this thing is quite heavy, I checked it out, it's about uh, 4500 kilograms, I guess. If we are going to the open rocket program, we would need two, we would need a human rated rocket and the cheapest one would be the um, R7 Vostok booster. Uh, this would be have enough power to launch the space plane, but look at this um, opening cost would be 5,000 and unit cost would be 3,000 and we have uh, Only a small amount of increase in our budget after we have upgraded the buildings and after we have hired some employees in this case I can't go right away for the uh, for the space plane. I'm sorry for this But at first I need to go for the Soyuz bu uh, for your for the Soyuz satellite in order to gain some prestige to have some budget increase because otherwise I would just run out of money and I won't be able to launch any space plane flights so in this case we need at first to do the the Sputnik program um, because yeah, as I said, otherwise I won't be able to really demonstrate to you some some space plane missions and also the same thing is also for the crewed spacecraft for the capsules. They need also a rocket program and so in this case I can't afford this in the early uh, beginning of this game. So we need at first to do the usual approach with the Sputnik uh, satellite. Let me just open right away um, the appropriate boost. Oh, I can't do this because I need the VIB at first. So this is a good thing. I should open the mission control. I should build the astronaut center. I should build the VIB and I should upgrade the science center right away. Okay. Um, 
year. We can now just end the season. Um, yeah, I know that one scientist can't do anything. Well, uh, I can send him to advanced training right away. So um, he gets a little bit better in rockets. Oh yeah, he has only 25% in rockets. So let me just send him to advanced training so that he he is a little bit aware of what he's doing when he starts working on the on the R7 Soyuz launch rocket. Okay, uh, 28% for this. This is very nice. And okay, we have a nice event, a good event. And my flight controller building is ready, so I can start uh, hiring some flight controllers right away. Um, crew and payload is your favorite job. Uh, apparently, your job is spacecraft systems. Um, you have is anyone good at uh, another stat? 59. Oh, 60 for trajectory. Very nice. And oh, 67 for the uh, propulsion. Do we have someone who is good in mission operation? 56. Okay, it's you. Okay, now let's hire these five recruits. Yes, I want to do this. Okay, back to space complex. And we can't do anything else. Let me just end the season. Okay, 50% for the Sputnik. Very nice. We have our flight controllers hired and now the VAB is standing around. In this case, we can now open the R7 Sputnik booster. Let me do this. Okay. And as you can see, now after we have opened one mission, uh, the Sputnik mission, and we have opened one um, rocket program, we have only a tiny increase of 406 per season. So in this case, if I now would try to do the, the space plane, I would uh, pretty much run out of funds. And so I'm sorry, we need to wait a little bit until I really can start showing you the new animations. But definitely I will do this, but at first we now need... Oh, my scientist is still in advanced training, so I need to wait one additional season. But I can hire three new scientists. Um, they should be good in rocket. Yeah, mostly in rocket. So, and yeah, let me hire these three. Three candidates. Yes, very good, very good. Okay. So, what else? I can't do anything else? Let me... Okay, now, after I've hired new scientists, we have only an increase of 243. You see, uh, this is the main problem in the early game, that you are not really... You don't have so much flexibility in, um, in doing anything. Okay, my flight controllers and my scientists are back, so now I can start uh, working on the rocket design. Let me start working on the R7 launcher. I can send my um, my flight controllers right away to advanced training, so that they improve a little bit their stats. Uh, and we don't have any issue when we do the launch. Um, what is your job? Propulsion, I guess. And you can learn more about mission operation. Very good. Okay, um, yeah, I can't do anything else. Let me end the season. Uh, 72, this is good. And one additional thing, the um, well, the required uh, reliability, or you get a warning for the reliability if you're below 80%. Previously it was 75%, but now the threshold was increased a little bit to 80%, so this is something new. And there is also... oh, no. Uh, this okay, we have a drop in prestige by zero. <laughs> this is lucky, because we don't have any prestige. And we have now our three new scientists ready. Let me just assign them to the rocket program before I start talking about a different thing that was improved. Because, well, in the in the in this update, there are so many improvements going on that I can't really uh, read every one every improvement from the changelog because these are so many. But one thing that was improved is as we can't see this is the um, are the stats for the funds in, uh, for the income and the prestige amount. So the diagrams are looking much better right now and this is really a great improvement. But well, we need to wait a little bit until we have the first data gathered. Um, yeah, can I do anything? No, I can't. In this case, let me end the season. Yes, I want to do so. Uh, 78, very good. And 37, so this needs a little bit of time. My flight controllers are back, this is nice. Oh, I should hire some some astronauts right away. Let me see. 70% uh, and quite young. This is amazing. Um, 68. Okay, let me hire these two guys. 
so that I can send them to advanced training to train them up for the space plane when the thing is ready and uh, my flight controllers are also ready to go back to advanced training so let me do this right away so that we don't have any problem with the Sputnik launch when the thing is ready to be launched and let me just go through all the stats and you are mission operation and okay we can end the season again 82 for the Sputnik, so this thing is ready to go, and 53 for the uh, booster, this thing needs some more time. And we have hired some astronauts, okay, so they are in basic training, and still we can't do anything else except for waiting a little bit. So let me end the current season. 84 for the Sputnik satellite, very nice, and this booster makes also some progress. Okay, my flight controllers are back again, So, but I think I can send them once more to advanced training before the booster is ready, because I think uh, it will take at least two seasons until the booster is ready to go. So let me just improve my flight controllers a tiny bit. And let me improve this one a bit. Very nice, very nice. Okay, back to space complex. And here, as usual, end the season to make some progress. 86 and 72. And what? Okay, we have a nice event, a good event. Here, uh, I wanted to come back a little bit to the changelog because, well, apparently there um, there are also some improvements with the Apollo program, so it should be a little bit easier doable to land with the Apollo program on the moon. I'd like to try this out in a future episode, but at first I'd like to focus a little bit on the Soyuz part because I'd like to, to see the new animations. I'm really looking forward to this, and it's really hard to, to can't be able or that I'm not able to launch the space plane right away because uh, I need to increase a little bit my fundings and I really want to play around with the with the space plane. So this is really, really unfair that I need to wait. Okay, my flight controllers are back and the, let me just check the uh, booster, 77%. So no, I don't want to send my flight controllers back to advanced training, but I want to do this with my astronauts so that they get a little bit of improvement. Okay, very good, you can do this. Uh, my flight controllers can remain where they are. And let me end the season. Very good. Okay, 88 and 81%. Very nice. Now we are ready to go to do our very first launch. Let me do this. And here we want to do Earth orbiting research satellites. Oh, and speaking of the launch, uh, let me just prepare the launch. Schedule mission. Start the assembly process. And the best candidates. Flight director, I hope you are really the best one. Confirm the assignments. And this is already quite expensive, 2100 for one launch. So uh, this is pretty expensive. And one additional thing, previously uh, you needed one uh, successful um, satellite launch to unlock the ballistic capsules. But right now you can access the uh, ballistic capsules right away. But as I have demonstrated you with the space plan, this makes no sense at all. You need to do it first, a uh, satellite before, otherwise you would just run out of fundings if you go for, for such a high expensive or such an expensive mission component. Uh, but this is really an uh, improvement and you only need uh, a satellite launch to unlock the lunar, lunar probes because when we go over here, program category unavailable, then we see that we need at least uh, a satellite launch to, to unlock the, the lunar probes. But I think before we do the lunar probes, a lot of time will pass because as I said, I want to see the new animations and I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, we have now um, prepared our launch. This is very good. Let me end the season. Yes, I want to do this. Okay, 88 for the Sputnik and 84 for the R7 Sputnik booster. And we can do the launch. And we want to follow it, of course, from the mission control. Let me see. I hope we won't have any issues. I hope we will have a successful launch because, uh, well, we need prestige to have the maximum budget increase. I don't know. I'm not sure if I can reach the, the 2500 uh, prestige to unlock the maximum budget increase or if I'm not able to do so, we, we will see, we will see, I hope I can. Uh, okay, the launch is a success, very nice, because money in the early stages of the game is really uh, of the essence and there's a problem. This is strange. Uh, my propulsion guy is at 86%, the spacecraft system is 84 the mission components is at 85%, but the chances of success are only 73. Why is such a decrease? And problem solved. Ooh, this was this was this was close, I guess. Okay, um satellite deployment. 
is a success. And Earth Orbit... Earth Orbit... It's a success. Amazing, amazing. Good job, good job, guys. Good job. Wow, 1,400 prestige. This is very good. This will grant us, hopefully, a very nice uh, budget increase. So, we have the radio signals emission from low Earth orbit, Earth orbiting research satellite, and the Sputnik satellite. Very nice, very nice. Good job, guys. And um, we have reached the maximum R&D level of something. This is also very nice. And as I said, we now have unlocked the lunar probes and the sun probes. Um, at first, let me do the launch for the extended duration. Let me do this. Extended mission. This would give us 500 prestige. This is very nice. Let me add the Sputnik booster. And let me schedule the mission. And start the assembly process with our best candidates, as usual. Very nice, very nice. Okay, um, I have some scientists left over. I could open up the space plane. Wait, let me just see. We have five seasons to go. Five seasons to go. Uh, what about the other satellites? The Sputnik 2. Can we... Prestige points granted, 2150. Number of flight controllers require 12. Wow. Uh, we don't have tw uh, 12 flight controllers, so we can't do this. Um, the Corable Sputnik 2. Um, can we see anything? Oh, there we can see the maintenance cost. This is amazing. Can we see also the flight controllers? Not in this menu. Can we see it over here? 11 flight controllers required. Okay, we can't start really working on this. The only thing we now could start work on would be the space plane. Here, let me open the up the space plane program. The PKA space plane open program. Yes, I want to do so. And now we are losing money. But I hope at this stage this is alright because we are hopefully have now a successful launch and then we can't get any more prestige with upcoming launches. So I can close the R7 Soyuz booster. No, the Sputnik booster and the uh, Sputnik itself. And then I would hopefully have again some, some income. In this case, let me just add my guys to the PKA space plane. Very good. And now we can end the season. Yes, I want to end the season. And the PKA space plane is at 14%, so this will take quite a while. Okay, let's launch the mission for the extended duration, and we want to follow it from the mission control, of course. I hope the thing will be a success, because we need the prestige, as I said, to have some budget increase, and without budget we can't develop expensive components, and then everything stalls, and we we lose a lot of time, and I don't want to lose time, because I want to see, as I said, the great animations, and it really bothers me that I can't do uh, go, go for them right away. Uh, but yeah, now let's focus on the launch. The launch was a success. Let's ascend up into space. Hopefully we won't have any problems this time. We have our pr uh, satellite deployment, also a success, amazing, good job, good job. And what's next, what next? Um, Earth orbit is success, okay, this was a mission without any issue, 125 prestige points, points earned, well done, good job guys. Okay. And... Okay, the mission is still in progress, the extended duration, and we have opened up the, the space plane. So, we are still have the ongoing mission. Um, let me add the two available flight controllers to advanced training so that they can improve a little bit. And you can also improve a little bit your... What I do have now, two crew and payload guys. Uh, this is strange, this is strange. Why do I have two crew and payload guys? Uh, have I mixed something up? Spacecraft systems. I think you should learn something about trajectory. Oh, I think I completely missed out to send someone to a trajectory. I think I did a huge mistake over there. Okay, you can learn a bit more about trajectory. And now let's end the season to move on. Um, 26%. This will take quite a while. And yeah, let's resume the mission and follow it from the mission control. Hopefully our satellite is still in orbit and can do it advanced experiments. 
And yeah, it was a success. Very nice, very nice. Another 125 prestige points earned. This is great. This is really great. And yeah, let's move on. Our astronauts are back from advanced training. This is nice. Our seventh Sputnik booster has reached the maximum R&D level. This is also nice. Okay, I will send my scientists to advanced training because now we need also the human rated rocket. Let me do this. Um, assigned, 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 assigned available. You can learn more about human rocket rated rockets. Assigned, 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 available. Uh, human rated rockets. And the last one can also learn more about human rated rockets because, well, this is the next thing I start to develop. And yeah, can we do anything else? Yes, we can send our flight controllers to advanced training, uh, not our flight controllers, our astronauts to advanced training again to get them a little bit better in their their capabilities for the upcoming space plane launch. Okay, let me end the current season because we still have our um, Sputnik going on. Let me resume the mission and follow it from the mission control and hopefully this will be still a success and the thing can still do it advanced experiments. And let me see. Okay, a success, amazing, good job. And we earned 250 additional prestige points. This is amazing, this is really great. Okay, okay. So. And that was a successful mission. Uh, my flight controllers are back from advanced training. This is also nice. Okay, um. Yeah, how many seasons we have left? Only two seasons. And now, yeah, you can see the, the new diagrams. They look really good. This is this is really, really great. I like the new diagrams. They are really amazing. And this is really now useful to see a little bit of the development of your fundings and of your prestige. This is really cool. Okay, um, I'm, I finished the... No, 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 I don't want to open program. I want to manage programs. I finished the R7 Sputnik booster. I can close the thing and I can also close the Sputnik 1 because we are finished with this. Now we are making a little bit uh, increase in our money. Um, I need at next a uh, human rated rocket but I don't have the, the money to open the thing so I can only send my... Oh, the scientists are already on advanced training so I can send my flight controllers to advanced training again so you learn more about crew and payload you will learn more about spacecraft system, and you will learn more about uh, trajectory, you will learn more about propulsion, and the last one can learn more about uh, mission operation. Very nice, very nice, okay. And with this, we are at the end of today's episode. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to show you anything of the new animations, but uh, as I said, it needs a lot of preparation to get enough money to to be able to launch this mission. But in the, in the next video, in the next episode, I will be hopefully able to, to launch the PKA space plane. In this case, thank you so much for watching. I hope you will be joining me in the next episode when we continue with the Soviet side. Until then, my name is Zebi. See you! Oh,